Today in our 2013 Subaru Impreza, we'll be looking at our best hitch options. Now I just want to point out the two hitches that we're looking at here today are for the Impreza hatchback models. If you have a sedan, it uses different hitches as well as the WRX and STI models. They have different hitches as well. Now the two hitches that we have here today, on the top we have a Kurt Class 1, part number C11286. And on the bottom we have a Draw Tight Class 1, part number 24886. You may notice that the Kurt has an angled construction going up like this. Now our Draw Tight hitch only has that similar construction on the right side of the hitch, which will be on the passenger side of your vehicle. If you look at the left side, you can see that it's more straight up and down. This actually makes it easier to install, especially when it comes to torquing this front bolt here, because you can easily get in there with a socket and torque it at a straight angle. If you look at the Kurt, you can see how if you were to go straight up, you'd be contacting this part of the hitch. So you have to use a swivel socket to get in there at an angle to properly torque it down. It's not a big deal, but the draw tight is a little easier to install because it is straight up and down. The Kurt hitch uses a half inch diameter bolt for the forward most hull and a 7 16 inch diameter bolt on the back. Our draw tight hitch uses half inch diameter bolts in both locations. So you don't have to worry about changing your torque settings and your torque wrench when you're installing the draw tight hitch. The Kurt hitch, since they are different size bolts, you do have to modify your torque settings a little bit and you'll find those measurements in your instructions. Another main difference we have is our safety chain loops. You can see on our Kurt hitch here, we have this angle plate welded to the bottom of the hitch. Whereas on our draw tight, we have this round tubular loop that goes around. The draw tight will be a little bit easier to get small diameter safety chains all the way around the loop. Whereas on the Kurt, you can only really do that on the front. Another major difference that we have between our Kurt and our draw tight hitch today is for a non-trailer application such as a bike rack or a cargo carrier, the Kurt hitch here does require the use of a stabilization strap to help support the load. We have those stabilization straps available separately on our website for purchase if you need one. Now both of these hitches are class one with our standard inch and a quarter diameter opening in the receiver. They both have a 200 pound max tongue weight rating and a 2000 pound max gross trailer weight rating. Obviously you'll want to consult with the owner's manual of your Impreza and find out what the vehicle's rated for. You don't want to tow more than the vehicle is actually capable of and cause damage to it. Both of our hitches feature the standard half inch diameter hitch pin hole and you can use this hitch pin to secure your bike rack or your cargo carrier or any other hitch mounted accessory you may have. Now just to give you an idea of a couple measurements, both these hitches you're looking at about 10 inches from the ground to the top of the inch and a quarter opening in the receiver and you're also looking at about four inches from the center of the half inch diameter hitch pin hole to the remote point on our back bumper. And that'll help you in choosing any hitch mounted accessories you may need, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. Now on the Impreza that we have in here today, we already have a draw tight hitch installed. As you can see, it sits up nice underneath our bumper cover. It doesn't stick out any at all, so you don't have to worry about running into it when you're loading the hatch of your vehicle. Both of our hitches will look pretty much exactly the same underneath your vehicle as far as how it's constructed. They both have the same square tube and it looks almost like a factory hitch. It's not too excessive hanging down underneath it. Now for my personal preference, if I was going to be choosing a hitch for my Subaru Impreza hatchback, I will be going towards the draw type myself just because it uses the same hardware throughout the installation so it's less confusing to install and because it has that straight piece going up on the driver's side it makes it a little easier to install that one bolt. You only have to worry about torquing the one on the rear of the passenger side. We really hope this video will assist you in making your hitch purchasing decision easier. And that completes our look at the best hitch options for the Subaru Impreza. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.